Yo, what is going on, man? Welcome to Free Smoke, man. Welcome back to another video, man. Next to me, we have Garage Driven. Right there below me, we have It is the Fails 392. And of course, oh, let me get it right. Caddy Corner right <laughs> there is Modern Day Muscle. And I am your truly fat cat. Welcome to Full Smoke once again, man. What is going on, fellas? How are you guys doing today? What's happening? What's going good, on? What's going good. on? Hey, man. So we are here. Before we get into this video, let me go ahead and say, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff that every single YouTuber tells you to do because they want to make sure that they hit the algorithms and get, you know, get their subscribers up, get their views up and all that good stuff. There's no secret to, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the formula for YouTube, man. So obviously we want to do the same thing, man. We want to shoot them to the top as fast as we can or at least get somewhere close to it. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you guys hit them like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and, and like I said, hit that notification bell so you guys can check out all of these dope videos that we got for you guys. And by the way, if you don't know, we go live every single Sunday at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Nine times, well, nine times out of ten, we want to try to get a, a dope uh, uh, guest on for you guys, man. This, li this last live stream, last Sunday, we had Demonology, the soul snatcher himself dropping lots and lots of knowledge and i'm uh, talking about the event that's coming up on the 31st of october man so uh with all that being said man we, we, we appreciate that love and if you guys would just don't cost you nothing man just hit the button that's it just hit the button man that's that's all we ask you know what i'm saying <laughs> but <laughs> but with all that man hey let's go to get into our first topic of the day <clears throat> and we are going to talk about something that's very actually it's kind of controversial to be honest Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pose to you guys, what are your thoughts on this new Hummer EV, which we don't know if you don't know what EV means, electric vehicle, we're talking about a Hummer electric, an electric Hummer. What are you guys' thoughts on this thing, man? Hey, it is the L's 392. I want to go to you first, man. What are your thoughts on that? Um... I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of mixed. I think um, it's GMC now. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, it GMC's yes. GMC's make it. I don't think I've ever owned anything GMC. I know GMC's like Chevy, GM, basically. Um, it's the luxury I, I, version of Chevy. If you want yeah, to say. yeah. It's, it's like I, I it's, it's, the, it's the Lincoln of Ford, pretty much. Right, right. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of mixed with, um, with it. it it's. As I look, I don't know. It's it's almost like a Ford, Ford and GMC. Like they got that new Ford Bronco coming out. It just looks like a big version of that Ford Bronco. Um, but they retained, obviously, you know, a lot of what made Hummer its thing. I was never really, other than the other than the original Hummer, I wasn't really a big H two fan. Um, I mean, we all drive. SRT engines and we're not used to great gas mileage. This thing is obviously even worse, but this being electric, um, man, they got to have a lot of batteries in that thing. They got to have a, they got <laughs> to just have it, have your own like battery tech support lined up. If anything goes wrong with this thing. Actually, you know? I, I seen a video, I, not to cut you off, but I seen a video of basically like, you know, it being like, you know, like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, illustrated like built but illustration wise and there's like two there's like literally two rows two rows of batteries on that thing on the bottom shit right right yeah i mean it, it's it's um i don't know it's it's interesting it's just it's i'm kind of looking at it like the um like the corvette you know when the ca came out i i wasn't a fan of it at all and then just the more i kind of pay attention to it it just kind of grows on me so i don't know maybe it maybe at some point It'll be something that grows on me a little bit more electric. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. I kind of think of a Hummer as, <laughs> as as electric. That was when I first saw that. I was like, what? What is it? What is this about? But I don't know. I mean, it could be cool. I've never really been a extremely oversized SUV guy, although I did used to have an Escalade for no reason. But um, 
I, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it could be, it could be cool. Well, hey, hey modern I'm, day muscle, I'm, man. I'm mixed. Modern day muscle, what are your thoughts on that? So, I'll start with the positive first. Um, I like that a thousand horsepower will be available on it co coming. Uh, it looks like twenty twenty one of next year, fall fall of next year, I should say. Um, I do like the interior. the uh, The infotainment area does look pretty cool. Um, I have to agree with Ellis uh, Bells. I'm not a Hummer type person. I didn't like the H2. Didn't like the H3. Um, that now the H1. That, that's a different story because that's a completely different looking, you know, vehicle. But the H2, the H3, uh, I, I, it, it's not my style. It's not my thing. Um, um, I, I think it has to. I think the. I think the exterior has to grow on me. Like, uh, like it's funny when I saw the C8, I instantly was like, "Oh man, this is awesome!" But like with this, I think I have to keep looking at it because like it looks like um, it looks like a spaceship from a a Alien or something like that. <laughs> I, I especially like the front, and uh, I, I, I don't know. Like, there's things about it that I think are awesome and then it's the it's the front where it says hummer that sort of that, that that's just what doesn't pull me in and for me I, I i love the way the front of a car looks and i don't think the front is doing it for me but maybe as time goes on maybe i'll feel differently garage driven yo so let's just go i'm gonna just say this the h1 dope yeah. h2 yeah, I liked it. I liked it also. H2, I kind of dug that. It was nice. The H3, trash. Yeah. But now this EV, I'm kind of digging it. Uh, you know, it's grown on me already. I'm surprised it's grown on me that fast also. So it's grown on me. I like the fact that it has a 1,000 horsepower. I would, I, I would like to see what, like, what capability would that have against, like, a track hawk or, you know, a vehicle that's 700 and, like, 7 horsepower. I don't know if the transmission can even keep up with that or the performance wise, I don't think it's gonna be there. But yes, it has a thousand horsepower, so that's bragging rights. And it also has eleven thousand five hundred foot pounds of torque. That is ridiculous. What are you gonna do with that? Pull a house down? Nobody's gonna <laughs> be using that. Nobody's gonna be using that. That's what I'm saying. So another dope thing I like about it though, it does like it does just like if you're off-roading. And like you want to go around like some rocks or whatever may, may be the case is, it does like a kind of like a crab walk where it drives on an angle sideways. Now that is dope. That 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 mm -hmm. yeah that, that four wheel steering. Now that is dope though. So I saw some videos where it was off roading and you can lift the truck a certain amount of inches or whatever the case is to ride over stuff. So it, obviously it's got some it's got hella technology in it. You know what I mean? I just yeah. would like to know what happens when something breaks. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Like, I don't know. see. I don't see Arnold Schwarzenegger with a cigar in this one. You know what I mean? Nah, 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 nah. I don't. Nah, nah. I, don't nah. I just don't see it. It's not the it, H. It's not the H1. The original. The the OG Hummer was legit, and those still bring my eye. If I see one of those, I'm like, all right. Yeah. Look at those H2s. Those things sold out quick. Like everybody put like the the down payment on one or the reserve on one. I had a buddy that that did that and like sold his spot. You know, people were selling their spots, but I, I don't know. This one, it's just not. I don't know. It just looks like a, well, a, a, a weird yeah. electric ride I, bus. I feel like they're competing with the Cybertruck. Trying to, is, I'm sure. <clears throat> and, and, and you know, and that's what I was gonna say, man. To me, I, I'm gonna say it off top, man. Like, I'm not a big fan of this. Um. And, and part of it, I don't know, maybe because you know, I, I used to be in the military. If you guys don't know, like I was in the military for 13 years, so like you know, they're all pretty much still eight. Appreciate your Humvees, service, by mm -hmm. the way. Appreciate Humvees, your service, appreciate by the way. Yep. No problem, no problem. But you know, but you know, they're Humvees, right? And which is essentially the H1 Hummer. So it's like, um, this is so far removed from that. <clears throat> From that diesel smelling, you know, could literally go over anything, you know, like just won't break down type of vehicle. Now, the reason why I say so, so that's why I say that. So, I, I, I I'm not opposed to an electric, and it's a, you know, what I'm saying and this is a, 
it's a pickup truck for for crying out loud. So I'm not opposed to them going this direction, GMC going in this direction, saying, okay, we're gonna have an electric vehicle pickup truck that can go off road and everything else. Thousand horsepower. By the way, I don't think I don't think it's fair to call it horsepower when it's electric. It should be like Newton meters or something like that. Like it's not a thousand horsepower. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a thousand horsepower. Come on, man. So, you step in your head, nothing, but just, or you just get yeah. pushed back. You had nothing. Like, 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 like kilowatts. Like, call it kilowatts. Don't a thousand call it, kilowatts. <laughs> exactly. Like, don't call it uh, uh, horsepower. horsepower. Anyway, but the thing is, I'm just upset at the name. So, it could be an electric vehicle, it could be this and that and third. But it should never be called a Hummer. They should be called it something else, something it's brand something new, else. something else. Just brand something brand new. Like it should not be. They should not use yeah. that Hummer name to, to to for this type of vehicle. Leave the Hummer name the way it is. It is what it is. And hey, we're coming out that's electric, and you could do this, you could do that, and I'll be fine. But to call it a Hummer, that's what I'm upset about. I mean, That's what the, I the, the, the outside's not bad. I think, and that obviously the thousand horsepower sounds cool, but the electric part just like, what? Now that I'm like, it I'm throws you off. It it just, you like, off. Are we talking about the same thing? It just doesn't right. make any sense. I mean, I get it. A lot of people are trying to do electric stuff, but yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. The outside, they, 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 they definitely should have called this something else for the fine. I don't see, I don't see, I don't see Will Smith and Martin Lawrence jumping out of a, a mansion in this thing. Like bad boys too. You know, I just don't. I don't you know, see it. You know what I think? You know what I think? We're all talking about. We're not saying it. When you look at it at face value, I think it's just missing its cool factor or its wow factor. I think that's what we're all pretty much like talking about in different ways. You know, what I mean, oh, like this part is nice and stuff like that, but it, it's missing something. So I think it's missing well, the cool factor. I don't think it's that. I, I don't think it's necessarily missing a cool factor because hey, an electric truck pickup truck that's a thousand i mean i think that's enough wild factor in his own that and it's yeah. electric and this and that a third i think that's enough wild factor in his own but what, what i what i think is that was missing is because using the hummer name because now when you think of hummer you think of a rough rugged vehicle that can you know go on and do whatever and it's just like but but they give you like you know like like i don't know man it's like it's like you're, you're, you're looking for a Venus flytrap that's going to go out and kill things, but then it give you like a rose or like a sunflower. And you're just like, what is that? Like, that's not what I was expecting. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel the <laughs> Hey, exactly. Hey. So, <laughs> Thank you. That's exactly what it is. I, I, think the, I think the Hummer name to me is what threw, is what's throwing this whole thing off. They should have just called it something brand new, like G whatever. But did you come up with a new name and say, look, this is our brand new truck that we're revealing. And it's electric. It has this. It has that. The interior is brand new. But then to slap the Hummer name on it, that's what you lost me, bro. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense to me. That's exactly what you just said. I want to smell diesel. I want to hear an engine. I know. I think what I think of H one the the OG Hummer and this is like think about when you accelerate this thing you 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 got a, a stop sign you just want to rev it up a little bit yeah what you gonna hear nothing no this, this is the, the bird Jetsons. chirping you just the hear yeah, yeah, the <laughs> noise and, 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 you know, and not even and, but not but not even that far because you know most people like if you go to a stop sign or if you go to a, a stop light and you see a Hummer next to you mm. like you may you're not gonna tell you may not say somebody you may not tell that person yo rev it up rev it up. But when the light turns green and that thing pulls yeah, off, yeah. you expect to smell some of that diesel. You expect to, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. You're just going to be like. Yeah. <laughs> like a jet ski. Well, yeah, the tires rotating. Exactly. That's it. I mean, you know, I, I'm sure those tires are going to be loud because it's, it's an SUV. It looks yeah. like it has some rugged tires on there, so got beefy wheels and stuff on there. I just, yeah, all so, you're gonna hear is tire noise. It's ridiculous. I, no, I no, are throwing me no, off. But you're put you're you're pointing out another point. How's the how's the sound quality on the inside gonna sound since it's gonna be so quiet? Interesting, yeah. interesting. Because it might it might it might be annoying. 
just a hell lot tire noise. Seriously. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, it might that's be annoying. Saying. And that's the other thing. That's the other thing, too. If they make it nice and comfortable, it's like that's not a Hummer. Like, that's not yeah. a Hummer. Like, a Hummer is supposed to be nice, big, rugged. Like, you're going to feel and smell and do everything about the road. That's what the Hummer is about. Like, like this shit is not comfortable, but I'm in the Hummer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Day. So. It's completely, it's completely pointless other than, like, military. It's just, like, hi, I drive this oversized SUV. I'm sorry, I'm in half of your lane, too. But <laughs> I'm in half of your lane, too. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is the point of this thing? It's completely obnoxious, but obviously we all have a little bit of obnoxious. But yeah, the, the whole the electric thing, everything seems. I mean, the outside's not too bad. The half thousand horsepower sounds good. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with eleven thousand some odd foot pounds of torque. Foot pounds of torque. You're I don't know what to do with that. But um, they don't break necks with that shit. Everybody neck is broken up out that. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, unless you're trying to tow the U.S. around, I, I don't really. But, uh, we all buy silly shit from time to time. So, but with that being said, right, let's move to the other side of the spectrum. <laughs>